Hi, welcome to my blog. My name is Tom Shu, and today we're going to do a Lightroom tutorial. And in this tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to make prints using the print module. Some of the things you'll need to know inside this module is that there's some hidden tricks to do borderless printing, as well as getting the correct aspect ratio to fit the size and the profile of your prints, or I should say not profile, but the ratios to your print like a 2x3 is a native size for a full frame camera but 4x3 may be a print size for like an 8x10 or something like this so what we'll do is we've selected this image and we'll go into the print module okay and you can see that this one is going to be set up for an 8x10 okay look at the top there's the rulers there's an 8 and over here you can see that that's 10 inches so we have an 8x10 inch piece of paper here and the image itself is on a ratio of a 2 to 3 or I'm sorry 3 2 okay so this means that we can go in and crop the image or we could just use this module to make it fit okay so first thing what we want to do is if we want to print something borderless you go into page setup in Lightroom 3 we had two options here one was page setup and one was print setup in Lightroom 4 it's just page setup okay so what we do is we come over here and we select our paper size. If we want to do 4x6, 5x7, in this case, 8x10, we'll select 8x10. And to do borderless printing, we need to click on the sheet and select borderless. We'll click OK, and that will close this dialog box. First, let me go back, and I'll show you what happens if you don't select borderless. Say so if we just did sheet, we'll click OK. So now, right here is in the layout this is going to determine our margins if you notice if I try to slide the margin over it stops I can't type in anything so if we do 0, 0.0 it's going to say I need to have a number between 1 1 and 7.62 it won't let me get 0 so say for example I just try to override that and I slide this to I'm trying to go to 10 inches it lets me go to 976 so how do I get this thing to fit so what we'll do is we'll go to our back to our page setup and we will select borderless. Now if you look at the margins, it will let us slide them to zero and it will let us go to 10 inches by 8 inches. But wow, the, the image is a 3-2 ratio and 8 by 10 is not a matching ratio. So we have to crop the image or we can use a little trick inside of Lightroom. Under the image settings there's an option that says zoom to fill now it's basically non-destructively place the image zooming it into the frame so we can move it up and down and we can position it the way we want it to look however if you're shooting digital and you crop too close say for example cropping in camera you shoot too close and don't leave room for cropping different formats then you're going to have to make a decision how you want it to be cropped to fit an 8x10 format. In this case, we're going to lose a lot of the image. And if I had a shot wider and left some area around the image, it would fit 8x10. However, I could use a different photo size. You know, say, for example, don't let you know, cropping in camera hinder you from printing it on a different size paper because not all images are designed to go on 8x10. 8x10 was great when you're shooting 4x5 film okay because that's the right ratio you know this is where 8x10 was popular back in the film days but we've stuck to this uh, process of using 4x6 and 8x10 as our image sizes but those are old film numbers if an image looks better at say maybe a 7x10 by all means use your image as a 7x10 print and make it a 7x10 print and keep all of the information that you've captured in the frame so I like to crop in camera and this is how you would deal with it zoom to fill okay so now let's do a 4 by 6 so we come down here and we want to create a 4 by 6 image we're in borderless as well and there you have it you can see that they didn't use any of that uh, information to get rid of or uh, crop out the information because this is a 3 2 you can see that you know 2 goes into 4 and 3 goes into 6 it's the same ratio 3 2 is the same as 4 by 6 so let's go back into page setup and let's pull up one more page and say actually I'm in the wrong box let's go down here and grab a 5 by 7 now this is not going to be a 3 2 
So if we go ahead and bring this size up, 7 by 5, you can see that we're going to have to do a compromise again, and we'll have to zoom to fill and crop. So this is a way to handle your images without getting that border around them and get them to fit. So there is a compromise when you're dealing with non-standard ratios. Okay. So here's what you would do if you want to print this to a printer or save it as a JPEG. Say you wanted to export this and save it for printing at a lab instead of printing it at home. What you would do is you go to your print jobs and you select JPEG file. Okay, and you can add sharpening to it and control the quality. You can put in custom file dimensions if you like. You can choose the color space and brightness. A little bit about brightness. When you look at your images on the screen, you're looking at like an LCD display in most cases, unless you're working off a of CRT. And this display is backlit with a bulb. Okay, so this is why the screen is so bright. So a lot of times you'll find that when you make a print, even though your monitor's calibrated and your color may be right, your print will come out dark. Okay? Your print's not dark, your monitor's just bright. So what you need to do if you want your print to match your monitor is you adjust the brightness. So and you'd only have to do that per like paper selection. Say if you're printing on a new paper style and you've got your profile set up and uh you've got your colors right and you want the brightness to match your screen, you'd select say maybe 29 for River Rock Satin, for example, or HP Photo Gloss. That might be uh, another brightness setting. So you'll do this in your test printing and keep notes, but this is how you would set it up and you'd print a file here and if you wanted to print to a printer, we would select printer. Okay? And then this is where it would let us set our uh, profiles. If we want to do ICC profiling, our color management drop down is here, and you can have it managed by the printer, or you can have it managed by whatever you'd like, any of your profiles. You could choose your ICC profiles here. I hope that uh, you learned something today about printing inside Lightroom, and uh, until next time, we'll see you soon.